welcome Aquarius I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of March let's go in and see what's coming up for you guys in the month of March all right so let's see we have health issue I honor um, the physical vessel that I carries my soul in okay so a lot of you have to honor your body in this week freedom I propose the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So freedom is coming up, which is a wonderful um, situation. Then we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me to the correct answers. So this is wonderful. This is positive. Um, this is a timeline where you Aquarians are going to be really positive, being enlightened in a lot of stuff, okay? So Aquarians, the month of March is going to be um, very powerful. Um, it is a heavy month. It has always been a heavy month. So you have to be aware of this. All right, so let's see what is going to be coming out. The Three of Pentacles is as if something is going to be coming to an end, okay? Some sort of a network is going to come to an end um, in the first week. Then we see the energy of the moon. A lot of secrecy are now coming out. Whatever is happening and transpiring, we see a lot of secrecy coming out. The energy of the Ace of Pentacles, a lot of you Aquarians are going to be regaining a whole lot of money. Um, this is positive. This money could be coming in from somewhere else. So this is a positive alignment of energy. The energy of the devil is down. And it's as if you Aquarian was being cheated out of your money, cheated out of a lot of things. The energy of the devil is down. We see the father of cups and this is a Pisces person. Um, some of you Aquarians could be dealing with a Pisces person. Their secrets are going to be coming out. You are going to be a surprise. It could be your father. Um, the energy of uh, the emperor, the energy of the emperor. A lot of you are going to be having problematic situation with your father or with uh, someone who is in position of a business. Whatever this person was doing, it is going to be um, coming out. Please remember that the two first week has to do with water. It is the energy of the Pisces season, the two first week, okay? Then we look at the Wheel of Fortune. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. It's uh, in the third house. So, so this could be a problematic situation that some of you, if your father is a Pisces, you could be wanting to borrow some money. The energy of the star is in a reverse concerning uh, some sort of a contractual agreement or um, whoever the Pisces person is, a lot of you are dealing with them. The energy of the magician is in your house, Aquarians. And this energy of the magician is like the illusion of something that was going on concerning management, concerning uh, some authority um, situation is going to come to an end, okay? The energy of the daughter of pentacles, this is a Capricorn person. This is a young Capricorn person and whatever that was going on, this young Capricorn person was um, construing it, was creating it. So it could be your daughter, Aquarians. Be aware of, of who this young Capricorn woman is. So, it is definitely a Capricorn woman because a cyclist coming in for this person. Um, it could be your daughter that was in some sort of a problem um, that is coming in. This person is trying to find inner strength to deal with a whole lot of issues because uh, um, whatever that was going on, Aquarian with this young Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn person, they could have created a whole lot of problems for you. And an end is here for this relationship, this situation. So debt transition debt and transition is coming up for you aquarian and this debt and transition in the month of march is shedding like light on something that was going on some sort of a dishonorable situation where um you aquarians could be dealing with a young taurus bird or a capricorn person this person is between the age of 18 and 49 Whoever this person is and whatever that was going on, um, you Aquarians are going to be having the sense and gaining a lot of knowledge 
over who this person is and what this person has created. This person could have created some sort of a disillusion surrounding you um, and you're going to be freeing yourself from this person and this situation, okay? So when we check out the first week, which is the energy of water, the third week and um, the fourth week is the energy of fire. Um, this network, there was a network that was created and there was a lot of secrecy um, surrounding this network and gaining a lot of money. So it was as if a group of people collaborating and was gaining a lot of money off you Aquarians or you Aquarians could be finding out that a group, um, a network, a group of people was creating some sort of a network and was accumulating a lot of money. Now, what you see here is that this money is in the ninth house and the ninth house has to do with your luck. So a lot of you Aquarians could be re regaining a whole lot of money that was stolen or taken from you. The energy of uh, um, whatever is going on, um, a lot of you are going to be dealing with a Pisces man. Whoever the Pisces man is, there's no success for this person. This Pisces man and his secret is now going to be coming out. And whoever the Pisces man is uh, had done something against you Aquarians and you Aquarians are going to be finding out about this and bringing it to an end. So this is a powerful month for you Aquarians and you Aquarians need to understand that whenever these things comes up, you need to gain a lot of understanding because a lot of you, whoever the Pisces man is, could have been playing you for a very long time. You are now going to be gaining the illusion and recognizing that this person was not on your side, but was mask mining and working against you. OK, um, and, you know, it can be your husband. It can be a father. It can be someone you had put your trust in. Um, that is that is very it is very illusionary, and with the saying of illusionary, that this person was uh, mask mining, creating without you even knowing. Okay, um, the energy of the devil, um, and this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man, whoever this man is, could have been um um some sort of an authoritarian figure. Um, to you, okay, but this person was carrying some sort of a negative energy, the energy of the devil, okay, some people can carry energies that is not connected or doesn't connect with you as an Aquarian person, okay, so truths are going to be revealed, then when we look at the energy of uh, the emperor, the energy of the emperor is showing up in um, this house and this house is a work and career. So some of you Aquarians could be having problems with your boss or supervisor. You can see the energy of this um, emperor that they could have used their powers in the wrong way. When we look at the third week, they're going to be recognizing that this Pisces Cancer or Pisces Cancer um, it's coming up as a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person as manufactured and uh, mask mine a way of uh, accumulating a lot of money. And it could be off the backs of you, Aquarian, and they're now going to be recognizing and seeing what was going on. The energy of the Wheel of Fortune is here. The energy of the star is in the reverse. The energy of the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. The energy of the magician. So the third week is going to be a powerful week, the third week of March. Because what is going to be happening in the third week of March is that the energy of the Wheel of Fortune, this is about your fortune, that is money, money that you have made, money and that you have created. Um, they could have been um, someone who was taken from you, okay? The energy of the star, we see the energy of the star and the energy of the star is having a situation or to deal with your money and a lot of disillusion surrounding you know, um, some sort of a contractual um, agreement that you have made with someone. So people make contracts agreement, um, living together, merging together, uh, merging their um, wealth together. And they're going to be recognizing that um, a Pisces Cancer Scorpion man was... Um, 
you, you know, basically mask mining a plan and was and could have been taken from you. The illusion is going to be coming out. Follow us to the other side in order for you to see what is happening and transpiring. You need to follow us to the other side. No success for a young um, a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, no success for this person concerning some sort of a work situation, contractual agreement. So you Aquarian, whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, there is no success for this person with some sort of a work situation because a whole lot of secrecy is going to be coming out. They're going to be gaining a whole lot of information about this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. For some of you, it can be a partner. It can be someone you were living with. For some of you, it's a family member because it's in the house of the family. Um, whoever this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is did something and had some sort of a secret um, that they were doing and it's now out and with the secrets being out it's going to be releasing you Aquarian from some sort of a problematic situation that this person um, and their friends had created for you okay so um, the network, and this can be, um, if this is a family member, a sister, or a brother, um, someone you had lived with, someone you had partnered up with, um, this is a karmatic situation. And this uh, young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person, um, carries the energy of a lower energy, the energy of the devil. Um, whoever this person and the situation is carries the energy of the devil. And what is happening is that this person could have add you under some sort of a control. You see the energy of the three of pentacles, uh, the energy of the devil. And uh, this is a past life situation that a lot of you Aquarians are dealing with, with this young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person. And this has been a past life situation where this person have controlled you in past life, came back in this lifetime and created the same chaos, the same energy. And now you're finally breaking it, ending it ending this karma between you and this person it is not going to be very easy because a lot of you are still recognizing um that this person could have shake you down a whole lot of money if you notice the energy of the devil there is no success so with the city with a situation because there is secrecy of your friends aquarians is going to be coming out and if your friends is a leo or your friends is a Taurus, there is secrecy of your friends that is Leo Taurus of Libran. There is no success for your friends. So be aware of this and understand what is going on in this month of March, because this month of March is going to be creating a lot of changes for you Aquarians. Okay. A lot of you Aquarians are going to be, um, the third week is going to be powerful because the third week is when you're going to be recognizing that people, and friends were not who you thought they were okay now when we look at the energies of uh, this Capricorn person this Capricorn young person it could be a child it can be a family member they're in some serious serious problem okay um you see this person had created a whole lot of chaos where you would have uh, uh, lose and you could have lost a lot or they're going to be recognizing that this person has masked mine and created a lot of a situation where you were either taken down you either lost a lot however this is whatever is going on um there is going to be some form of transition now with this form of transition this is going to be powerful because whoever was dealing if your husband was a pisces cancer or scorpion person you're going to be recognizing releasing yourself because you're going to be recognizing that a network this network their secrets are out and their secret was concerning a whole lot of money Okay, and th this network is now going to come to an end because they were collecting a whole lot of money. And the biggest person in this deal is the spicy scanter, scorpion man. This is someone you have known in the past. And this man and this young 
Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn is connected in some sort of a form coming from a past life that came back in this lifetime to affect a lot of you. So a lot of you, this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn person, you're dealing from a past life. The Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion person, you're dealing from a past life. But whatever that was going on is going to be resolved, okay, and come to an end. Because the secrets of the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion man, there's no success for this person. Um, Their secrets is now out and there is no success and the end is going to be coming in. So this month is the month of debt and transition. And this is a powerful month. Um, for you, um, Aquarians, because you, Aquarians, is going to be taking down some sort of a network, some sort of a group, okay? A lot of you, Aquarians, who are getting out of relationships, uh, um, um, you are releasing yourself from some sort of a negative energies, um, um, that was created. This negative energy is uh, that people and situation formulate some sort of a chaos in your world had you under some sort of a, a negative um, um, transition um, where you're going to be getting out of this. So, um, you know, Aquarians, uh, you are going to be good. Um, there is no... Um, you are going to be good, Aquarians. You have nothing to worry about. Um, you are going to be releasing. And Aquarians, what I should um, tell you guys is that Pluto is in your birth chart. Okay, so all Aquarians, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, Pluto is in your birth chart. With Pluto being in your birth chart, Pluto is going to be releasing you from people and situation that has been um, holding you at ransom. Okay, people and situation that has been basically holding you at ransom. People in situation from past lives uh, that has been um, controlling you in such a way that you had no um, no um, resistant to, okay? It is as if these people came back from past life and was controlling a situation and had you controlled so that you could not make the right choices and right decision and if you recognize some of you could be your father and your sister some of some of you it's your father and your father-in-law some of you is your sister and your sister-in-law but whoever this person is and whatever is going on this young person is not going to be um, winning or surviving what was going on because they are going to be um, definitely standing in and recognizing the mask mind of the energy of negative forces controlling you, okay? With health, a lot of you that has been having health problems, this is a beautiful card. You are going to be calling up on your spirit guides to help you with whatever health problem, whether it's a um, mental health situation that you're going through because a lot of you will be going through a lot of stress if you're leaving, getting out of a relationship or moving away. Um, that is going to be having some sort of a mental a situation. A lot of you Aquarian women are going to be manifesting. Look at that, how beautiful it is. You, um, you're going to be free. You're going to be free from a controlling negative forces. Um, a lot of you Aquarian are going to be manifesting your richest abundancy. Um, and a lot of you women are going to be, um, be, be so free from, um, the control of lives. Um, and this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous because the situation is Aquarian is that a lot of you Aquarians, you are good people, but there are people that can use and control you and you're releasing. Okay. So Aquarian men, you're here. Um, you Aquarian men are now um, seeing the true picture of uh, a relationship of a person and trust what you're seeing because uh, the energy of trust is bringing up. And you see, you men are now recognizing something about your wife, something about a woman, whoever this woman is. It can be good or bad, but it says trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me 
to make the correct decision now is this not a beautiful uh, month yes it is Aquarian it's a beautiful month you Aquarian needs to um, accept what is coming in because it is a uh, um, Pluto coming in to remove you away from a controlling situation where people were controlling you people who came back from your um, your past people who have been in your karmatic life who brings you in this karmatic place and now you're going to be resolving this situation so you're going to be recognizing that at the end of the month you're going to be dealing for some of you it's at the end of the month for some of you it can be during the month that you're dealing with a young Taurus Virgo a Capricorn person this person can be your child this person can be someone who you lived with um, this person can be but there this connection between you and this person is now going to come to an end the universe and Pluto step in to make this end and this transition um, to release you from the controlling powers of this person and you're going to be free so you know even if you stayed somewhere something a work a job something that was controlling someone that was controlling you are going to be released out of this and I see a lot of you are going to be having a lot of happiness and joy I do love you guys gotta go namaste